Welcome back to Film Buff Bros. And in this episode, we're going to chat about our favorite 2000s Western movies. Oh, yes, we are. Yeah, so mine is Django Unchained. It starts out in Texas, and then I guess it ends in Louisiana, which is obviously not the West. But it they, they travel across from Texas to uh, Louisiana. Um, and it's my favorite because of the cinematography, obviously. The acting, Christoph Waltz, uh, I believe he won Best Supporting for that, or was it uh, Inglorious Bastards? But anyway, I think he's great in it. Leonardo DiCaprio is great in it too. And all of the um, supporting actors are good. The guy who's, um, which I'm going to call it, uh, uh, DiCaprio's like right-hand man. Uh, he was in the It TV movie. He was also in that bicycle movie. Anyway, yeah, uh, Samuel Jackson, all very believable performances, I thought. And it's like the content is so harsh. Not that like I'm into seeing a guy get torn apart by dogs, but it's just like so shocking. It's like, whoa, like someone's actually, you know, portraying like the horrors uh, that uh, black people suffered in those times in such a graphic and realistic way. They don't show much of it, but it's occurring, obviously. Um, just the fact that they're addressing that subject matter and then like the Mandingo fighting and like finish him off with the hammer. It's just like, whoa, it was just like stunning um, to see that. And as stunning as the cinematography, you know, he was using, he had bought these like old lenses from MGM studios or rented them from them. And uh, it, it looks um, like old and like beautiful. Uh, it looks almost like, what do you call that? Like a c- cinescope or something. I don't know if that was, uh, if that's what it was called. But it, yeah, it looks old. Um, it looks like the older Western movies. And uh, yeah, I remember one of the lines um, from J- um, Jamie Foxx uh, when he's trying to, he has his like nice um, suit on that he's chosen out like that bright blue uh, suit and, and they're at uh, Don, what, Don Johnson, so the guy from Miami Vice, they're at his um, plantation and they're looking for those uh, overseers that, uh, that they have the bounty on. Uh, and he says to uh, the girl he's, he's looking for, he says her name, the John something or rather, and you're like, oh, he's over there giving so-and-so a whooping. And, and man, like that, that performance, even like he didn't even, what he says is like, he's like, point me in that direction. But even his reaction to her saying that, oh, he's whooping like this girl. He knows what that is. And, and uh, man, it like <laughs> sends shivers down my spine talking about it. And then like, it's just an awesome moment of revenge uh, when he shoots the guy who, you know, like, like was beating his wife. And he says, I like the way you die, boy. <laughs> so sick. Great writing by Quentin Tarantino. Great cinematography. Great acting. One of my favorite movies. It's, I haven't talked about it before, but I really love that movie. I saw it a couple of times in theaters. Bought all the, the short series of comic books that came out for it. And I'm a huge yeah. fan of that movie. Is yeah. that the one where at the ending... Yeah, that's the one at the ending where he... he Spoiler alert. Yeah, with uh, <laughs> Tarantino comes in and, and then they got the bombs and he straps the bombs and all this happened. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What I like about that movie is, yeah, all, like everything you mentioned, but specifically the fact that that character is boiling like from the beginning. Like, you know, this character is uh, going to explode and, you know, the, the climax doesn't to disappoint. Uh, but yeah, he plays that really well of a character that's holding in and holding in and holding in. He did that in the movie Collateral too. But there was an original movie called Django. It's just called Django that he, he got that from, which... He Several. Yeah. yeah, it was about a blind... Um, Gunslinger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going with Hateful Eight, which is you oh, know, same director, yeah, yeah. same sort of thing. It's just like you're it's like different takes on the Western genre is always cool to see, and especially like remember the Great Silence movie with Kinski and all that. The snow with the Western uh, I like because there's not a lot of movies with snow in westerns. So yeah, Hateful Eight. I think I, I realized as I was doing this that I already I think I reviewed this already on the channel, but uh, I'll just go over quickly what I like about Hateful Eight. Um, again, I like the snow production design uh this is like you said the, the this is a the 70 millimeter ultra panavision mm. whereas only seven or eight movies have used it ben mm. her a couple movies mm. lawrence of arabia so he used this crazy lens to do it um yeah like the writing like you said the dialogue yeah, but the acting's really good in hateful eight too um and i really like the score by ennio morricone like he's just it's kind of like he took some parts 
from his uh, rejected The Thing score. Mm. And they took put some of that in it too. Mm. But it's dark, it's weird, it, it's it's got so many weird variations to it, yet it's it's cohesive as a score. So yeah, that's what I, uh, I'm going with Hateful Eight. And I think if you look back, I, I already reviewed this movie, I think, in maybe more depth, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a great movie. For me, it's, uh, it's not very rewatchable because it's kind of like... I don't know. There, there is a, like a lot of tension, but you really know what's going to happen, and, and it's just all about this like pivotal moment happening at the end. There's not a lot of. There's lots of great lines, lots of great acting, uh, funny uh, lines, um, but it, uh, yeah, it for me, it's not very rewatchable. Though I, I absolutely uh, acknowledge that it's a masterpiece. Yeah, first time I watched it, it was very surprising. Um, but yeah, I can rewatch it, but it. It's not, I'll, I'll say, yeah, you're probably right. It's not the most rewatchable of his films. Uh, I'd rather watch Jackie Brown. I, I can watch that one, like, more and more, right? Yeah, and Pulp Fiction, yeah. It's something yeah. that, I mean, it's a movie that I will rewatch. It's just, yeah. like, I it, it I can watch Aliens, like, you know, multiple times in a month um, and for months consecutive. But, uh, yeah, Hateful Eight is, like, one to come back to every, like, few years or something. That's how I feel about Reservoir Dogs, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right just a side note runner up true grit i almost chose true grit yeah that's yeah. another good one and i think we did do yeah we did the true grit comparison yeah, yeah, we did. yeah, yeah. so check yeah. that out on our channel we had the true grit comparison the old one with john wayne and the new one with jeff bridges and also click down below uh so you can get the notification icon and subscribe so you can get all of our awesome content when it comes out which is every sunday uh as of now and uh yeah thanks for watching